G'day everyone, just uh, here rigging up the rods and lures and everything as I prepare for our Bermagui trip on the uh, 23rd of Feb. Uh, this is our second trip down on the uh, south coast chasing marlin. Uh, last year was our, our first ever attempt and uh, since then we've had a few new additions. Last year we fished out of the Bar Crusher 575C. with just the uh, Lauren, Lawrence out of box transducer and HDS Live 7. Uh, we soon found out that that was quite inadequate, uh, as was the boat for, for four fat bastards that were uh, trying to marlin fish. We also didn't fish with outriggers, uh, which also posed a bit of an issue. Um, we also didn't fish with many game rods, with the only fish we hooked uh, being caught on the uh, pan slammer, which is this this bad boy here. I think it's a 65 pound line with a 100 pound leader, and we hooked it on a per cooler uh, Brad J color. So that was exciting for a couple of minutes as we watched the marlin dance and then uh, break us off. So this year. New boat, we've uh, got a 670 hardtop uh, with all the fruit, outriggers, uh, running the uh, Simrad Evo 3, uh, 16 inch with the uh, TM185 high wide transducer and the Total Scan uh, transducer, both two separate transducers. Um, yeah, so hoping to have a, a vastly different experience this time. The boys will be happy, they've got a bigger boat and uh, yeah, all the gear. So including, uh, we've made some new purchases this year. We have fished with the TLD uh, 50s. And this year we've uh, we've gone all out and, and decked ourselves out with some Tiagras. Uh, we use the 50s for tuna down here as well and they'll, they'll be our good marlin rods. 24 kilo line with the 200 pound wind on. Uh, we've got a 30 wide as well, uh, which I think this is running 15 kilo line with the 200 pound wind on. And also scored this little beauty off Facebook Marketplace, which is probably completely unnecessary, but it'll be good for the local tuna here in Vic and uh, some heavy jigging for Montague Island. So that's it's a leak of 12, which uh, yeah, will be great. Uh, made a GoPro pole just out of a paint roller pole to uh, film all the action in the underwater gear so we'll see how we go I've just done all the new lures uh, yeah all new leaders on what needed leaders tied some live bait rigs and yeah a couple of divers and whatnot so yeah we'll take you out and show you the boat but uh, yeah with any sort of luck this year we'll get our first marlin oh don't forget these little beauties Got the Pakula slimy uh, patterns. Spoke to the man himself, Peter Pakula, and he, he sent me these already pre-rigged. So thank you, Pete. Looking forward to give these a, a run down on the 12 mile and out over the shelf. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at the boat. Thank you. This is what I'm running. I've just uh, polished it, detailed, and uh, done a dry run for Bermagui. So I've got a new teaser pole, and I've installed the outriggers, and yeah. Dress rehearsal, good to go. So here we are. I've got the 670 hardtop, easy tow trailer, standard bar crusher setup. Um, we've installed the Viper Pro uh, outriggers, and I've just trialed some clips there with the old uh, elastic Oki straps, which seem to be doing a good job, uh, and teaser pole, which. Uh, we fished last year and uh, yeah, it was a bit of a hazard having it come off the back of the bait board. So this year we've got a teaser pole. Hopefully we'll uh, manage to uh, tee some beakies up. Suzuki 200 horsepower with the four blade prop. Uh, it gives a lot better hole shot, we've discovered, than the three blade. Uh, running a TM185 high wide transducer and over this side running the three-in-one uh, total scan which is a great setup we'll have a look inside 
Yet to upgrade the bait board. That'll be after this trip, I reckon. Um, yeah. Standard bar crusher accessories. With the outriggers, we've actually installed... Uh, sorry, we didn't have to install the backing plate. Backing plate came standard from the factory, thankfully. So I've got that on both sides. Um, yeah. Running the NSS... Evo 3 16 inch Simrad, which is uh, yeah, pretty bloody good actually. Getting the autopilot installed uh, next week and we'll be good to go. One thing that I will add um, that has made a tremendous difference is the carpeted cabin. So we've carpeted all in there. Well, I haven't carpeted personally. The bloke I bought the boat off had. Um, and it's just been incredible. It just reduces reduces that noise on the water. Um, yeah. So this is the weapon. It's the upgrade for us because we had a 575C, which was a beautiful boat. Uh, loved everything about it. But uh, family got a little bit bigger and our fishing ambition got a little bit bigger. So we had to upgrade to the bigger boat. Couldn't be happier. So we'll uh, take her out to Burmy on the shelf and we'll see how we go. Cheers.